YouTubers and fellow Native American flute players. This is a flute in the key of E minor. This is made by John Stilwell of Ancient Territories Flutes. You can see his little logo here. Um, the materials used in making this flute are curly maple and jatoba wood, also known as Brazilian cherry. Um, it's tuned to 400, 432 hertz for the A. So it sounds slightly flat against concert instruments, but I found that this still works very well with backing tracks and whatnot, so um, give that a try. Um, it has a very simple totem here, and the flu of it is built into the flute, so if you ever wanted to trade that out, totally fine. Um, John has a specialty where he makes a hygroscopic strip that he places in here that will help direct the flu and breath moisture and everything down into the body of the flu. It sort of takes it out of the air and then down into here. Mine does not have that, so this flute wets out really easily. Um, it's kind of a trade-off to a number of the other nice features on this because I feel that this flute has a very nice big sound. It's almost like a clarinet and the air chamber is very efficient. I get quite a bit of volume out of this. The hole spacing is probably about the widest that I have of any of my bass flutes. Um, I can play it. Uh, Mom, her fingers can't quite reach here. This is almost, well, actually I think it's exactly an inch um, between the bottom two at the widest spacing. So if you buy a flute from John and you have small hands, it might be worth considering. Ask him if maybe he can make a larger bore size or something so that you'll find the flute to be playable. Um, of all my flutes, this has a distinctive bright, clear sound. This was kind of what drew me to it in the first place. I discovered this up at Cedar Mountain Drums in Portland, and I tried out about, oh, you know, 60 or so different flutes until I found this one. I thought to myself, this is the one, you know, yes, it's, uh, it's slightly flat, but it has a really sweet sound to it. Um, really good for jazz music and other stuff. Um, I feel that it hits most of the notes accurately. It struggles a little bit with this very top note here where you half hole on these two, um, kind of squeaks a little bit. So I wouldn't trust it to, you know, produce that accurately if you were in a recording studio, but you know, it's, a, it's fun that it's able to hit that in the first place. Um, so I'm going to play some of the scales for you, give you an idea for how this sounds, do a little improv. So I'm going to do the regular minor pentatonic, Arabic scale, blues scale, and then you can decide from there what you, you know, like about this flute. Um, a little improv as well, maybe. So, minor pentatonic. this particular flute for jazz because of that clarinet-like sound. So I'm going to do a little Django Reinhardt style improv for you here, see how you like it. Thanks for watching.
bad. And it didn't wet out through that whole routine. So you could probably get away with it. Definitely recommend checking out the wet out protection that he offers on his site though. So E minor flute, very cool. Nice high gloss. It also has a little turquoise ring here that is used on the tie for decoration. Uh, be careful not to break that if you are the sort who likes to, you know, shake out your flute, fling it to get rid of the flute. So, hope you'll consider this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.